All right, I come here to do the wet surface air cooling video again. The reason why is because they've, you know, they updated our imagery from 2017. So let's go check it out. And these are all the power plants that I'm willing to discuss because obviously when you, I zoom into them, you'll see why. And I'll start with the Solana power plant. And I just have to basically just click on so I can zoom into them. Okay, it uses wet surface air cooling right in the middle. Lots of it too. So you wonder, wet surface air cooling in intense form at Solana. We're going to go to Palo. That's our nuclear power plant, which I have a plain view of. They heavily use wet surface Super wet surface air cooling facility is what I would call it. If that if that doesn't scare you, I don't know what would. And you can see they got tons of wet surface air cooling. <laughs> wet surface air cooling at its worst. Okay, here we go. We're gonna bounce around. We're just gonna go down these. Hopefully the internet doesn't get too freaky on me. Look at that. They use wet surface air cooling right in the middle of a town. Poor people. Make sure that my imagery graphs turned off. But, you know, they haven't changed much. You know, you could do the histograms on this yourself. I'm just showing you where they're at and what they're doing. Wet surface air cooling. You wonder why you got a bad hack or spit, cancer, breathing? Right here's your answer. Going to the next one. Harlington Power. And it was a pain in the butt to, you know, locate these. Does Arlington Power use uh, wet surface air cooling? You bet your bottom. And lots of it. And they're right next to all the other solar power plant fixturations that are going on. Because obviously this is part of the same facility, Mesquite Power. Okay, next one. So we got two sets of solar rays down here. Two solar power plants. Even though the second's not even classified, you can definitely see. Okay, Desert Basin Power. Do they use wet surface air cooling? Yes, you can bet your bottom. Does Douglas Power use wet surface? Not really, they're using the old kind. You know, you can see their old facility right here. Real simple. So, do they wet, use wet surface? Yeah, but in its older form. This is from back in the days, from what you asked me. That's my personal opinion. Okay. Gila Power. Do they use wet surface air cooling? You bet your bottom. Remember, you're breathing this stuff. I mean, this is going through these machines and it's going into the air, guys. And you breathe it. Somebody's breathing it. Next. So, does Griffith Power in the middle of no man's land use wet surface air cooling? You bet your bottom. <laughs> and lots of it. I couldn't even pronounce this. I'm going to say Harla, Harla, Harkwala, Harkwala, Hala power plant. Do they use wet surface air cooling? You bet your bottom. <laughs> Are you seeing the picture here? All natural gas plants using wet surface air cooling units to do all the dirty work. And the next one. It's funny, it keeps not clicking on that and keeps coming right back. <laughs> Kyrian Power Station, another one that uses wet surface air cooling. I mean, they got wet surface air cooling all over this place, and I knew there used to be facilities here. This is where that histogram comes into play. If I remember right, this is the plant that used to have the wet surface air cooling facility right up here in the north. So let me go back on the histogram. Yes, see? The wet surface air cooling facility right there. And it was there all the way till, yeah, it was still there. So there's a wet surface air cooling facility right there. And then they removed it, I'd say around 2016, 2015. Wow. 
Just in 2014, they removed that facility. Obviously, because it had to be moved to a better, better location. That's my I guess, my personal opinion. Just because of all the technology is always changing. Okay, mesquite power. Also right next to Palo Verde. Does it use wet surface air cooling? Yep, I'm afraid so. Uh, lots of it. <laughs> Ocotillo Power. Do they use wet surface air cooling? Yes, you can bet your bottom. I mean, people are going to school and they're breathing this stuff. Can you believe that? They're breathing wet surface air cooled natural gas garbage. <laughs> I'm right next to Tempe. I'm right next to the ASU. <laughs> Come on. Red Hawk. Obviously right next to our good old Palo Verde, Palo Verde, but another one. Do they use wet surface air cooling? Yes, sir, and lots of... Are you seeing the picture here? <laughs> Solar Power, yes. They, they definitely have used. That's an older facility right here in the middle and an older one up in here at the top, but I'll show you. They've changed it. Did they used to use wet surface air cooling? Yes, indeed. All the way up into 2014. And then 2015, they're gone. So in 2014, just like the other place, they moved their facilities to another location. That would be my guess. Or to another area. You know, to me, it's not like this is... Not, you know, heavily documented. But let me tell you what a pain in the find, all these. Okay, on to the next one. Let's go to Satan's power. Acronyms, gotta love it. You take out one letter, you get Satan. You take out another letter, you get Santa. <laughs> Do they use one surface air cool? Yes, you bet your bottom. I meant, and lots of it. Can you see this? Are you seeing they're using wet surface air cooling right in the middle of where people live? Oh, what were they thinking? Oh, I knew what they were thinking. And people come here to get rid of cancer? <laughs> come on. All right. So, yes. Uh, Santan power definitely uses wet surface air cooling. Sundance power. Do they use wet surface air cooling? Yes. And older technology. Well, at least I could say older because it just looks like the older type tile, you know, pushers. That's just my opinion of it. Okay. Because they don't look like they got the new wet surface air high high velocity. These ones are probably a little older and lower velocity to the sky. But yeah, they're that's you want an in-place vortex, you know, in-place moisture generator. We got lots of them. On to the next one. West Phoenix. Does it use wet surface air cooling? Yes, sir. You bet your bottom. Cooling ponds right off to the left. See? And where else they got cooling pot? I would say the water's also in these tanks, too. But, needless to say, more wet surface air cooling. Let's go to Yuma. Does Yuma use the wet surface air cooling? Yep. Does Yaka Power Plant use wet surface air cooling? Yep. <laughs> You see the picture here? Older units, if you ask me, and newer ones. But needless to say, more wet surface air cooling technology. And the reason I brought this is because the main one. Okay. Palo Verde. Is right in this area. You can see Mesquite Power right there. And you'll notice this is where all the airplanes generally are flying. This is where all your private, right here. You want to know how your moisture and water, your entire ecosystem is right there. This is what's feeding our rain. This is what we basically had to deal with this morning. We basically got, got this pissed on. But you can see all the private aircraft they use. Tons of them. CL 30s. Yeah, no call sign. Yeah, how many aircraft are allowed to fly with no call signs? Sail 60s, Gulf 4s, you name it. The reason I brought that up is because I wanted to show you. Right in this dot, right in this area right here, this is where all the wet surface air cooling is going on in this one particular spot for my area. 
Okay, and you can see the aircraft direct going over. Here is your direct connection, your involvement between the aerosols and the ground. Look, their flight paths are going. Around. When there was lightning last night in the area, the planes didn't stop flying over that thunderstorm. Okay, and the thunderstorm was going on down here. So okay, it did, did never come up to us. It stayed over here down in Hilo the entire night. I didn't hear any thunder, but I de always disconnect my antennas when I see uh, lightning in the area, just because I know how it plays. But this is you're, you're, right here is where a lot of the wet surface air cooling facilities are, right in this area, right here. I'm telling you, just buck, just bucko between Yuma and all this. This is there's your there's your tie. Look right here. Here's another one going right over wet surface air cooling facility. Notice the wet cooling air facilities are always right on the air, you know, right in the areas where all these planes travel, because that's what they're doing: pushing high volume water up into the air and dumping it on poor civilizations and flooding people. Anywho, that's what I wanted to show you with this weather share video, or I should say weather share, uh, wet surface air cooling video um, on the internet. And I hope you guys, you know, hopefully this enlightens you to show you why people have cancer. Anywho, peace out.